Welcome to the Carols of Christmas. Each day leading up to Christmas, I talk about a particular Christmas carol, explaining some of the history and background behind the carol, and then finally I will sing a verse of it for you. Some will be familiar, and some probably not, but they all point us toward the true reason for the season, our Savior, Jesus Christ. If you want to learn more about the history of songs other than Christmas songs, please visit my other podcast, Songs for All Seasons. The first season of the podcast is now available in book four as an Advent Carols Countdown from Shadow Mountain Publishing, available on all major online retailers. Today we will be talking about Jesus Christ, the Apple Tree. So this one might not be as familiar to you, but it is a beautiful carol, and I will explain a little bit more about how it came to be. Jesus Christ is sometimes referred to as being a tree in the scriptures, a metaphor for life and sweetness so that he gives to us. This is found in the second chapter of the Song of Solomon, and also in the 13th chapter of Luke and the 22nd chapter of Revelation. It may also point to the story of the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden and how Christ became the remedy for Adam and Eve partaking of the forbidden fruit. So Jesus Christ, the apple tree, is the remedy for them taking the fruit of the forbidden tree. Jesus also told his apostles in John 15, 5, I am the vine and ye are the branches. So he's comparing himself to a plant. So this is painting a picture of Jesus as one who gives life and has the power to help others grow, especially those who follow him and are connected to him. The first time that this poem was published, it was done so by a person with the initials R.H. So it's believed that this meant Reverend Richard Hutchins, who was a Calvinist Baptist clergyman from England in the mid-1700s. It was set to a few different tunes, such as those from Jeremiah Ingalls, Elizabeth Poston, and John Rutter. And although it was written in England, it gained much more widespread use after it was published in an American hymn book in, 19, in 1784. This led to many people assuming that the carol was actually of American origin because it was so much more popular in the United States. So this song may also be seen as an attempt to Christianize the old pagan tradition of singing fertility songs and wassailing in apple orchards during the winter. That was a pagan tradition. Apple trees are very common in England. The author might have been trying to draw upon that familiar imagery that other English people would relate to. And also around that time that this was written, apples were a very common gift to give each other as a Christmas gift. So all of these things come together. We have this beautiful metaphor about Christ being the apple tree. So here is a verse of Jesus Christ, the apple tree. The tree of life my soul has seen, laden with fruit and always green. The tree of life my soul has seen, laden with fruit and always green. The trees of nature fruitless be, Compared with Christ the apple tree. Thank you for listening. Merry Christmas, and may God bless us, everyone.